I am going to share with you 10 lessons teachers can learn from watching the movie Kindergarten Cop. We're wasting time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie Mack and I'm a teacher and I'm here to help you have the best school year ever. So recently I re-watched the movie Kindergarten Cop and as I was watching it, I realized there are so many lessons teachers can learn. Kindergarten Cop is currently available on Hulu, but you have to have the Starts add-on. So since I'm going to be analyzing and picking this movie apart, spoilers ahead. So many lessons can be learned from Kindergarten Cop, but I have broken it down to just 10. Please stick around until the very end so you can see what part of this movie did not age well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you have never seen the movie Kindergarten Cop, basically it is about a detective. His name is John Kimball and he is searching for a criminal. And this detective, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, has been searching for this criminal for years. This criminal, whose character's name is Colin Crisp in the movie, is trying to find his ex-wife so he can take his son back. When the criminal learns that his ex-wife and son are in Wistoria, Oregon, he now has a lead and he's going to go after them. Since Detective John Kimball doesn't have any solid leads, he is going to try to go to Oregon to try to convince this ex-wife to testify against this mean, horrible criminal. Detective John Kimball teams up with his new partner, Phoebe O'Hara, and the plan is, is for Phoebe to go undercover as a kindergarten teacher while they narrow down the suspects of who could be Colin Crisp's son. Phoebe O'Hara gets sick and Detective John Kimball has to take her place. So basically, there is a hardened detective posing as a kindergarten teacher. So that's Kindergarten Cop in a nutshell. So let's look at this first clip and see if you can see what the lesson is from this one. Did you see it? Don't ever leave students unsupervised. Lesson one, do not leave students unsupervised for any reason whatsoever. That is something that is like teacher 101, just don't do it. It could end up really, really bad for you and for them. Let's look at the next clip and see if you can spot the lesson. Did you get it? Don't ever tell students to shut up. Don't do it. I know some days it's tempting, but please don't do it, okay? We're professional. All right, let's look at this third clip. Yes, can I help you? No problem. Campbell, I need to go real fast. First day? Yes. I'll take care of it. Thank you. All right, do you see it? This is important. It is okay to ask for help. In fact, if you don't know what to do, ask for help. They would much rather you ask for help than you to sit around and someone get hurt because you didn't ask for help. It's okay to ask for help, I promise. All right, let's look at the fourth clip. Attention! This is your new class mascot. What happened to your dog? This is not a dog. This is a ferret. What's a fairy? That's a ferret. So what you need to learn from this, lesson four, is you do need to get the student's attention. Whenever you have gone to college and you've learned how to plan your lessons, they always tell you to start with a hook. It is so important to hook your students in so they wanna to listen to the more not so interesting part of your lesson. So do get your students' attention. This next clip pretty much breaks my heart and you'll see why in just a second. Next, uh, what's his name? Read this back to me. Yeah, Jack Sob, and he doesn't like anyone to talk to him. He's a poo-poo Yeah, he's a poo-poo face. He's a dog of poo-poo. That's enough. Which brings me to lesson five. 
Do not let students be mean to other students. Don't let them be mean to them with their words. Don't let them be mean to them with their hands. Don't let students be mean to other students. You just cannot let this happen. It is not okay for students to receive abuse when they come to school. This is a safe place and they, there's just no place for it. All right, let's see what lesson we can learn from this next clip. You ready? So we have lesson six, teach and reteach rules and procedures until students have it, okay? It is good practice to teach and reteach rules and procedures until the students understand. Which brings us to lesson seven. These two kind of go together. Let's see what lesson seven is. Now the next time you hear this whistle, each one of you will get one toy. How many? <laughs> Good, and bring it back to the carpet. Rondo. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Sit down. Ready? Lesson seven is be firm and give clear instructions. Give students clear instructions, okay? You have to do this. All right, let's look at this next clip for lesson eight. Uh, I know what this is about. I suppose you saw the Jesus on Jackson. My husband has started counseling about this. He's been going to see you, child. Please don't bring his face to someone's room. It'll only make matters worse. Please. If he does it again, I press charges. Okay, so lesson eight basically is pay close attention to your students. Make sure they don't have bruises repeatedly that look suspicious. And also it is not good to confront parents yourself. It is better to let the counselor or administrators do this, okay? So that's super important, keep that in mind. Lesson nine, this one's probably obvious, but when I show you the clip, you're gonna be like, oh, I know what to do there. Hi, Jan. What's the matter? I fell down again. How you doing? You must be the Mr. Kimball we hear so much about. <laughs> you hit the kid. I hit you, you bastard. <laughs> Lesson nine, do not beat up parents. Okay, don't beat up parents, just don't do it. Like, it's not okay. Even if you are in the right, you don't beat up parents. It's just, we don't do that. You know how many times I would have loved to put my hands on a parent for abusing their child? It happens too often, I'm, I'm sad to say. If you suspect abuse, you have to report this. You're a mandated reporter. Tell your principal, tell your counselor, tell somebody ASAP. Okay, so I saved the best lesson for last. See if you can pick up on what it is. Let's look at this clip. Hi, kids. Mr. Campbell. I'm back. It is very important to build relationships with your students. They will do more for you if you guys have a good relationship. Okay, that's a great tip. Write that down. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably wondering which part did not age well. Let me show you. I know Anna just been worried about the best thing in the world. Staying to You know, doing odd things. Like what? Well, it seems that he's becoming a little obsessed with playing with dolls. And it's weird. I think it can help you with that. Yeah. He uses the dolls to look up girls' skirts. 
caught him doing it yesterday. Oh. Oh, well, that's funny. Did you see that? I cannot believe that just happened. So let me get this straight. The mom is worried that her son wants to play with dolls. And the detective tells her that, oh, I caught him looking up girls' skirts the other day. Don't worry. So it's better for her son to be a pervert than gay? Oh, that bothers me. And I know this was filmed in the 80s, I think. But let me tell you, that just rubbed me the wrong way and it didn't age well. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox now. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.